New Jersey has a new lieutenant governor. Tahisha Way succeeds Sheila Oliver. Oliver died last month. Way has been Governor Murphy's secretary of state since he took office in 2018. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live at the State House in Trenton with more. Anthony. Yeah, of course, we're talking about the new lieutenant governor. As you said, she's been working with the Murphy administration since he took office as secretary of state. That means she's been in charge of the elections and working on tourism in the state. Now she is just one step away from becoming the acting governor. Today, it is my incredible honor to introduce New Jersey's next Lieutenant Governor, Secretary of State, Tahisha Leela Way. Tahisha, congratulations. With honor and poise, Tahisha Way now becomes the third Lieutenant Governor for the state of New Jersey. I, Tahisha Leela Way, Leela Way, do solemnly swear. Chief Justice Rabner administered the oath of office as the newly announced lieutenant governor was surrounded by three of her daughters and her husband, Charles Way, who was once a member of the New York Giants and his mother. The lieutenant governor thanked all of her supporters and staff. I will dedicate every day to fight for the forgotten families of our state. Way has served as Secretary of State in New Jersey for five and a half years and will keep that role as she serves as Lieutenant Governor. She can handle the single most important responsibility of any Lieutenant Governor, and that is being ready to step in and serve as Governor if needed. Way received the honor following the sudden death of former Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver, who died early in August. Her death touched off a month of mourning in the state with flags at half staff. Sheila was more than a trusted colleague. She was a cherished friend, mentor, and a role model. And now, as Lieutenant Governor, I will have the solemn honor of building upon her towering legacy. And Way certainly does have some big shoes to fill. The governor had until September 15th to make his decision on the new lieutenant governor, and he says he has made the right choice.